Alpha and welcome to TV Alpha Alpha. Yeah, we are at uh, Roast Park Club, and uh, what are we celebrating? Gora Gora yeah, Gora 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 Gora. Gora. yeah, actually, this is Chrissy and uh, Michael AK and Papa. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me remind Chrissy. Our topic today is about foreigners' life, or students' life in Ukraine, yeah, in, in, in general. <laughs> What do you have to say about that? Okay, but for, okay for starters, you know, like when we came to this country, mm -hmm. like life was really, really different from the way we were used to back home. You know, food was different, the people were different, the language was different. Basically, you know, we, we experienced like some difficulties, you know, to adapt. But you know, with time we adapted. You know, I remember even the like money changing money was a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, you were changing dollars to. Grivna, so and then you're trying to decide the value of, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. Grivna, like, is oh, Grivna too much? Yeah, is it, yeah. See, what was your, is it good or bad experience towards your, your first time in Ukraine? My first time in Ukraine, it was a tricky experience. It wasn't good, it wasn't very bad, but it was tricky. Because, uh, especially the money issue, you know, first time you came here, you, how you handling all the dollars, your school fee and everything, so you have enough cash. Mm -hmm. and so you don't really mind spending it until you know how much you're spending. Yeah, yeah. So some of us, you know, like back home, taxis are always counted on the thousands. But here, someone tells you it's only 30 to caravan, mm -hmm. and it's, which is like four kilometers away. So I'd be, oh, 30. But the first time I came here, I was told 100. So I was like, oh, only 100? Mm -hmm. I paid. <laughs> Until a friend of mine came and laughed at me properly, told me, ah, they've been and eating your mind. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All happened with us because I remember when I went to Barabasho by the way, I wanted I was buying stuff. So there was this nice bracelet, you know, and I was like, ah, it's only 80 given. Oh my yeah, gosh, yeah, that's yeah. so that's cheap. cheap. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And then later they on I thought about it, I was like, wait, it was not worth <laughs> 80 given. You know, it should have yeah, so, so well, like, it, yeah. it seemed cheap or expensive? It seemed cheap at that time because I was thinking 80 given for me it was like ah 80 shillings. Ah, you know? okay, okay. Mm. So <laughs> you were comparing you try and compare, but it's not the correct value, you know. So uh so right now uh you haven't told us. 
yes yeah, yeah for me the, uh, my experience was uh, language you know foreigners you come from Africa Asia wherever when you get here you know you you wonder whether like for example we are English speaking you know like yeah. English speaking mm -hmm. people of Uganda we speak yeah, English when you get here you expect people to speak English yeah, mm -hmm. yeah you know true. just yeah, like yeah. the way it is at home especially all to the fact that they're in Europe uh, you, you understand so like uh, yeah. Basically yeah. speak English uh -huh. yeah. I think uh, basically we have only mentioned two problems we've talked about money and we've talked and about language, language. is uh -huh. that the only problem we're facing here in no Ukraine? so far you know like uh, how about weather there is in, a winter in, as, as, as you get here of course uh -huh. as you go along you, you, you get no yeah, you yeah. get to meet different situations you know you get to meet weather you get to meet the people the good people the bad mm. people you get to meet food you know the music uh, what was your first experience with food with food let me see keep it shit up come on It was everything tasted different. You know, just chicken, but it tasted different. For me, Water, oil irritated me. <laughs> I don't know. You know what was the really smell of oil, actually. like the cooking really, oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me so off. I was like, what's this? How can oil smell like this? You know, we have uh, we have uh, oil that uh, we extract from uh, corn. our oil consumer yeah, yeah. from oh, corn, yeah. Yeah? East African oil. Yeah. So like, oil from here is extracted is extracted from uh, the sunflower. sunflower. <laughs> so there is a big difference. Like, now, when you let it go off in the kitchen, and oh, this is a beautiful butterfly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, these young Russians go and start frying their kaltoshka and their, and their sala. What is kaltoshka? Uh, the, Irish, uh, yeah, the Irish potatoes. Yeah. Potatoes, yeah. 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 Then uh, me and John were like, mm, what's that smell? Yeah. It's, it it doesn't smell so good. <laughs> but then as you go along, like, you know, we get used to it. And like, mm -hmm. I don't find even any difference. Okay. I Recently, I was home and uh, I did not even feel the difference. The only difference I felt was uh, the test. Yes, because you get home test is like no, it becomes normal. Personally, I honestly, I'll just be honest, I don't really like the food here. <laughs> no one apart likes from, the food here, apart, we apart just from have the food. That thing they do with their meat, yeah, uh -huh. not all the meat, know, like, yeah. just that thing they do with their meat. Uh, you it's mean, you, you categorize it? The, uh, the beef, you know, the chops and pork chops and they like roast them, mm -hmm. what they call shashis. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the roasted thing. Roasted roasted meat. Meat. Okay, Everything can everybody just give me their views or something about winter? 
your first experience with winter. Okay. okay. <laughs> Many people really take winter as a bad thing. I do not know why. First time, you know, my first experience with winter, it was terrible, but I took it happily. It was amazing. You were, yeah, for me, I, was me. I wasn't like, yeah. like, it was the first time. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay, uh, snow. Yeah. Experience. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it was just because you were enjoying the white thing. Yeah. <laughs> the white thing. Yeah. It's like a childhood fantasy, you know? Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. In Africa. yeah, you watch it on your TV the only and it ends there. Mm-hmm. Was the was once when I that's a big, you know. Mm-hmm. It's, so it's time it's, 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 it's fun. <laughs> that was like please the, when you're coming home come with a, a, a pile uh, of yeah, snow yeah, 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 yeah. kids no, of course the babies, yeah. you know when we're back at home yeah. it's like uh, snow is uh, it looks like magic on TV you know you wonder what uh, what feels like yeah. you know what is it like because beautiful. for us back yeah, at home it's like we, we don't know it what nice snow is you, it, you have never it tastes nice no, yes, it does. look at this <laughs> are you kidding is that me? a joke or what? No, really, you've never tested how can you not Michael, test you cannot snow? Like you've been here how many years no no no, 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 no. no, no. no. okay wait, wait a minute there is different no no wait a minute uh you can't say that snow is tasty yeah as you know it has this no Pure let me le- let me let me no, say this i don't know whether no nobody has done this back at home you know when when the free uh, the fridge really gets cool there is that place called the deep freezer yeah. and in the deep freezer <laughs> there is that that was tasty it's it tasty it's tasty awesome. we like it that's, that's like, awesome. nice. okay, you, okay issues now, of taste now let me tell you, 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 you uh, let me tell you that's a big risk you did and i wonder whether you did not have a stomach ache the following day because i caught fresh snow no no you should even have good grip you should even have got a call because like Okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. Uh, okay, we're like done, we're done. Up, not okay, with the weather. That one is for the children back home, or for the kids too. <laughs> yeah, let's get back to something else. Okay, now, uh, the, the next topic, uh, okay, we're still in the, we're still in the point of, uh, uh, of students, you know, uh, foreign life in Ukraine and all that. So right now, let's talk about the hopefuls, the police. Somebody that says F T P. Okay. With exclamations, I don't know how many. Tell me your first experience, please. <laughs> Just with the. Tell me. F T P. My first experience is my only experience with the police in Ukraine. I have been stopped once since I came to Ukraine. Uh huh. Once, and that once, all along I was not carrying my passport. Uh-huh. I never carried my passport. Uh-huh. Oh, and the one nice. day I decide to actually man, carry my passport, the, you yeah. were risking, man. they stopped me mm-hmm. and asked me where is it. So I started laughing. Mm-hmm. Like I laughed at them. I was like, seriously, of all the days, today, today, today when yeah. I have my passport, you stop me. Uh-huh. Here is my passport. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a real pass. So yeah. Ask me of my hostel, about my hostel, and I'm like, no, just turn a few pages. It's there. It's mm, there. It's in the registration. Where's your student's card? I pulled it out. I was like, ah, I have two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, short if you want. <laughs> 
So the police guy looked at me, he's like, normal, you, normal. You even move with your examination book? It was that once. I was going to make copies of uh, Maybe, maybe we were coming from the university at that time. No, yeah, I was going to make copies of my documents. Uh -huh. You and your green, yellow hair. Uh -huh. Man. Tell us your experience with the police. Like, like I'm the grandma, gra the, the grandfather, grandfather of attraction. You know, like police. I have, I have experiences. <laughs> experiences. Grandfather. You know, first, first of all, when we are just popped in, in yeah, when we are just popped in. Like, uh, just like Kombi, you know, just like Kombi's explanation. We were like, okay, this is Europe. We, we hope, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we had that same free feeling, uh -huh. but from home. So, like, we scrolled out. It was, uh, it was still spring. Mm -hmm. Leaves were on the ground. It was so yellow. Mm, and, like, you know, it, it, it still, like... How are you stopping? Well, I'm coming. It looks strange. Getting there. So, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we, you know, we went across the road. Uh -huh. Went to... At that time, there were no supermarkets just like it is right now. There were small, small shops called kiosks. So, like, uh, we wanted to buy bread. Mm -hmm. We wanted to buy bread. And uh, as we were crossing to go into the kiosk, three policemen come and they're like to breathe in we didn't even at that time understand what to breathe in was police introducing <laughs> themselves and they're like document so that is like could you please show us your documents uh -huh. and we're like we don't understand we don't understand we we have yeah. just come out to buy bread and all that mm -hmm. so like uh the next step was really so bad you know these guys just told us passionless now you know because like they understood that we are not understanding what they were saying and they were not understanding what we are saying so like they took the three of us they took us three to Dijenski Rayon and like you know the experience was not so good until uh, one 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 guy out of the so many understood a little English uh, yeah, yeah, yeah understood a little English and he was like okay it seems these are new guys and they have just popped in they have just come mm, let me find out what's wrong how comes they don't have documents on them so we explained to him we have just come you know uh, uh -huh. Actually, we didn't know that it was a must that we have to move with yeah, documents yeah. so we paid some money like to course, let us yeah. go straff mm -hmm. but you know I recommend everybody any foreigner African Asian wherever you come from as long as you're here you have to move with your documents yeah.
one, you know, not don't risk heavy it. lights, you've forgotten don't your, risk. you know, you have to remember. If you've not moved with your documents, you see the, the, the police, scatter please. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> or make a U-turn. Yeah, yeah, because you, you, you will back. never know. You cannot know yeah, what is yeah. going to cast. Or maybe you can check in your pocket if you still have some grievance. Then you can go through the pass through them. Yeah. And still, like still, you will have it, but it is not enough. Yeah. You see, the thing is, uh, with the <laughs> police here, it's like they take advantage of the way you understand them. Mm -hmm. You see. Yeah, those if, yeah. according to uh -huh. how they think the way you, you, see, you know, the way you're reasoning yeah. with them, the way you're speaking, the way you have introduced. Called. I think we are being called. So, hello. Oh. Vadim. Vadim. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Special order. Mr. Vadim, you want to go? No, credit is there. Ah, credit is there. Okay. Okay. Close down. Yeah, okay. All right, we shall get back from there because we have a lot to talk about actually the next topic is about the year 2012, 2012. that is going to take place here in Ukraine so are you ready for the next topic please stay tuned don't touch the button see you. We are going to all the time <laughs> we'll be back see you on stage <laughs>